The suspension geeks at FFRC have been scheming on ways to transform the prehistoric suspension on the DR into something worthy of a modern bike. A while back, FFRC customised the rear shock with excellent results and tried the usual cheap mod of heavier fork oil up front, with mediocre results. But the second level improvements have been incredible. The rear shock was already dramatically improved with their custom valving, but now they've added a customised piston that makes the rear suspension even more plush over small bumps. And up front, they have invented their Plex valve, which works so well the rod forks are now the equivalent of good cartridge forks. The DR is now very plush over small bumps and corrugations, and yet also handles extreme abuse like this 60 foot jump with ease. As covered in our previous vid, the rod forks are a very old, inadequate design, and the suspension of both ends is too soft and under damped. Also, the rebound and compression damping at both ends is badly out of sync. It can't be solved with just using heavier oil. The usual upgrade for the forks has been fitting emulators or intimidators. Many riders report better performance with these in combination with heavier springs. However, while they are adjustable, emulators require disassembling the forks and modifying them, which many DR owners balk at. The intimidators don't require taking your forks apart, but they do need a different fork oil weight to put in, as they only affect compression damping, not the rebound damping. FFRC's Chief Suspension Guru, James, has been designing state-of-the-art suspension component for years, not only for all sorts of motorbikes, but rally cars and V8 racing cars as well. So he put his mind to creating the ideal DR4 upgrade, a custom valve that would be the match of quality cartridge forks and could simply be dropped into the fork, adjustable if needed, would not require changing the fork oil, and even better, would work well with the stock fork springs. James spent a lot of time developing the flex valve on their dyno machine, and also with various riders testing the suspension from easy dirt roads through to the punishment of a motocross track. It's hard not to rave about how different the DR feels with that smooth, plush ride on easy tracks right through to the most challenging terrain you could imagine. FFRC's dyno and real-world testing suggest most riders will find the flex valves will suit the stock springs for riders up to around 100 kilograms. It looks as though stiffer single rate fork springs would only be needed for heavier riders, a safari tank or very aggressive riders. Previously we had discussed how the dual rate fork springs are really badly designed, but the length of the plex valve compresses the softer part of the spring rate sufficiently to achieve the right amount of sag. This dyno chart compares the results of the budget option of 15 weight fork oil, then with the new plex valves. James has also included a set of Kyava forks from a YZF450, which are a very good cartridge fork. You can see how closely the plex valve mimics the cartridge fork, although of course it's deliberately softer than the motocross fork. As mentioned, the rear suspension was already brilliant after James created custom valving for the rear shock. The addition now of a customised piston allows a wider range of settings with the shims, resulting in an even more plush feel, which is still very progressive to avoid bottoming out. FFRC also decided to test their latest upgrades in extreme conditions before developing it for more typical riding conditions. So of course they took the DR to a motocross track and not content to thrash the big bush peak they figured why not try a 50 foot tabletop jump as well. They reasoned if their suspension mods worked well in those conditions and the stock components held up okay it should also work well long term for everyday adventure riders.
All the test riders agreed the suspension was great and even landing from the biggest jumps was smooth. An impressive achievement given the stock fork springs are far too soft for even easy dirt riding normally. When the DR650 is such a cheap bike to begin with, to me it makes so much sense to spend the extra money and get an excellent suspension setup tailored to your needs. And the DR will still be much cheaper than most adventure bikes in its class.